Hi, it's Debbie here with another video tutorial. I know that many of you purchased um, some lovely cutting files and I'm sure many of you would like to uh, learn other ways to use them. This is a cutting file that I purchased from the Silhouette Store by Samantha Walker. It's a heart doily and here's one of the cards that I made and here's another one. And I would like to show you how to do this. Okay, first of all, I created two rectangles. 4.25 by 5.5 and I aligned them side by side and just to make sure that you get these just perfectly aligned you may want to zoom in and check that real quick okay so anyway so I have these two rectangles and I have my heart right here I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this so I have another one handy so I don't have to open up a file in case I mess up or do something wrong. Okay, and the first thing I'm going to do is size this heart just exactly the size I want it for this card. And I'm going to do that by dragging on the bottom corner here, making it a little smaller. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, now that I have that done, I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to release the compound path. The reason why I'm doing this is because I need this outer part of the heart. So I'm just going to drag that over here for now. And I'm going to select all of these little pieces right here and notice how I dragged my cursor around and I didn't touch the whole shape of the rectangle so that just grabbed these little pieces for me. Now I'm going to right click and I'm going to select make compound path or you can just group them for now it doesn't matter. Okay so I'm going to select make compound path and remember we're going to save these this for later so I'm going to just move this over here to the side. Now I'm going to bring my, this hard shape back over here and I want it aligned so I'm going to control click on this rectangle hold down my shift key and select my heart shape and I'm at my align window right here align and I want to align it to be right in the middle oops no I don't <laughs> let's undo that I want it to align to be right in the center so there we go now I've got an alignment so now I'm going to hold down my shift key and click on the heart because I can delete this other rectangle out of the way so I'm just going to delete where it's still selected and it still leaves me that rectangle. Now this one here I'm going to bring down to right here because that's about how much of my heart I would like sticking out of the top and you can choose how much you want. Okay and then I'm going to go over here and select my line tool and we want to hold down the shift key to draw a straight line this is going to be my perforated line so I always like to make those blue so I make it blue then I'm going to go over here to my line style window and I'm going to select this type of line right here there we go Okay, now I need to weld, do some welding. So I'm going to get my rectangular tool out again. And the reason why I'm welding this way is because if I drag this over, it'll make this portion at the top go across. So I want to weld these together without changing the size or shape of this rectangle. So we'll just draw a rectangle in there. And you'll probably want to zoom in for this, so let's go ahead and do this. Because you want to make sure that this lines up nice and even with this smaller square shape over here on the right. Okay, that looks good. So holding that, we'll go back to fit to window so you can see everything. Okay, that's selected. Now holding down your shift key, select that square, let's select the rectangle. Let's select the heart shape. And now we're going to right click and we're going to choose weld. There we go. We have a perfectly shaped card that we'll use. 
And now we get to go back over here and use this stuff that we saved. Remember all these little pieces? Because we're going to place it right here. And that looks pretty good to me. Okay, with that selected, I'm going to hold down my shift key and select my card shape. I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose Make Compound Path. And now I'm going to select my perforated line and the card. And I'm going to right click and select Group. And let's go ahead and fill this with some color so you can see how it turns out. We'll fill it with red. There we go. A nice little shape. Now remember, if you wanted a different shape, you can always weld it to this too. We'll go ahead and undo this. So you can see it again. But you can use any shape to weld into this to bring this at the top. But I really like the way that this looks. Okay, now that we have this done, we're going to just move this over to the side. And we're going to make our second card. This time, I'm going to use a rectangle, just like this. And I don't fiddle around with getting it perfect because I, I just go right here to my scale window. And I want to make it 8.5 by 5.5. going to hit apply. Again, I'm going to draw my um, perforated line so I have this card scored. Hold it down my shift key. I draw this line. Oops, I let go of it too soon. I'm going to do this again, holding down my shift key and not letting go too soon. I'm going to drag that line right down to there. I'm going to pick my line color as blue. For some reason, that's what I like my score lines to be. I'm going to Line Style Window and select this. And I'm going to hold down the Shift key. So they're both selected. I'm going to go to my Align Window again. Align Middle. And Align Center. That looks pretty good. Now, oops, there's my phone. Just a moment. Okay, now that I've answered that phone call, I'm so sorry. Um, here's that heart again. Of course, I want to resize it because it's a little too big for this card. And I'm going to put it about right here. And this time, we're just going to right click release the compound path. I'm going to drag this right here off to the side. Select all those little pieces again and I'm going to group them. And once again I want this to be aligned so I'm just going to draw a rectangle right over the area where I like it to be aligned to. There we go. So selecting that rectangle and selecting this heart, holding the shift key, I'm going to align center and align middle. So holding down my shift key, I'm going to select the heart and I'm going to delete out this extra rectangle because we don't need it. Okay, you know what? I think I still want that to be a little bit smaller. because for this one I want to put a little um, heart frame around it. So I'm going to size that a little bit smaller and you know how to align it center so I'm just going to kind of fake it right here and align it center the best I can. Okay, now I'm going to hold down the shift key and hold down the shift key here and I'm going to right click and make this a compound path. Okay, here's that heart that we saved off to the side.
and I'm going to bring it in just a little bit closer to the heart. See, that looks good. Now we're going to go up to our offset window and I'm going to select offset. And I'm going to make that offset a little bit smaller. So holding down the shift key, I'm going to select that outside heart, which I didn't do. Okay, now they're both selected. I'm going to right click and make it a compound path. Just to double check that I did it, see, I made a compound path. So that's going to be the frame that will be cut out later on to go around this heart shape. So let's go ahead and check it out and see. Let's fill this frame with that pattern that I like. There we go. And we're going to fill this card just so I can show you. This wouldn't be a print and cut. That would be awfully expensive to print a whole card in this color. You're better off just finding cardstock the color you want. And I'm going to choose a color out of here. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and make my line color the same color so you can see it better. So I just use a selector. I make my lines the same color. And I'm going to do the same thing with my frame. So you can see what the card will look like. And hold on, we're going to go ahead and put send this to the back so we can see our perforated mark. Send it back. There's our perforation or a score line. And there you go. If you would like this to go in closer to this heart shape, all you have to do is remember, grab that side there and push it in so it keeps it aligned uniformly. And there you go. We have created two card files out of one cutting file. And they really look beautiful when they're all cut out. I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. I'll be back with more. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye now.